Gun sales, which surged in the early months of the pandemic, are still on the rise, believe it or not. And about a fifth of all Americans who bought guns last year were reportedly first-time gun owners. Half of those, half those buyers were women, a fifth were black, and a fifth were Hispanic. Fox News contributor and civil rights attorney Leo Terrell says the growing push for self-protection ties back to the defund police movement and liberal policies. And he joins us now. Good morning to you, Leo. Hi, Ainsley. Hi. Glad to have, be on the show. Well, we're, we Good. love having you on. So why do you think this is? Oh, very simple, Ainsley. There is a vote of no confidence in Democratic leadership. Everyone in this country saw what happened last summer. Everyone is witnessing the rise in crime in Democratic cities. People are afraid. They cannot expect the Biden administration, Democratic leadership in Chicago, L.A., Washington, D.C., to protect them. And people, all Americans, are buying guns, blacks, browns, women, because they are afraid of the lack of support by the government regarding law enforcement. It's very simple. A vote of no confidence. Yeah, they want to defund the police with fewer police officers out on the street. We worry about our children and our own safety and not being able to call 911 and having someone to respond. Does this surprise you? No, I think people, I think, I think the Democratic playbook is take guns away. The Beto O'Rourke, the Kamala Harris, the Joe Biden, take guns away. How can you take America's right to protect themselves when they see all this crime? And Angela, here's the biggest concern. There's an expectation of riots this summer. People are looking at what's going on every day in these Democratic cities, and the government wants to take your guns away. People are afraid. People want to protect their family. And when they can't call 911, as you articulate, they have no other choice but to protect themselves. And I applaud them, because government is abandoning its number one obligation, to protect citizens. Can you believe half of them are women? Yeah, bravo, bravo, because women, just like men, just like anyone in this country, want to protect their family. And they feel if they cannot rely on law enforcement, they have no other person to depend on other than themselves. I, I think it it's, makes a perfect strategy and makes perfect sense. We're, when you look at the numbers, in April of 2020, uh, 2.9 million background checks. Uh, in April, this past April, 3.4 million for firearm background checks. The numbers are staggering. People are scared, it looks like, and they want to protect themselves. Leo, I'll leave you the final hey. word. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And I'm so glad. I hope the Democrats look at this. People of color. People who, who they represent, they're saying, we don't trust you. We're buying guns. Hispanics, blacks in Democratic cities are buying guns because they reject the Democratic playbook that you don't need guns to protect yourself. It's a lie. They need the guns. Leo Terrell, thank you for coming on. Thank you. You're welcome.